Saki in the middle. We don't really quite know. Saki in the middle. Where is that? Um, it's in the middle, I guess. Which I think most of it. This tastes a little bit like vodka. Yeah, it's stronger. It's your girl Brittany, and today I am here in a Japanese restaurant with singer Mila J, and we're getting sake. Yes. We're gonna turn up real quick. Turn up. And we're getting sushi here at SEO Restaurant in New York City. What's going on? Hey. What's How up? are you? I'm good. Um, okay, so before the cameras came on, you were talking about how you lost your phone last night. Yes. <laughs> she was so turned up. But that's the thing, though. Yo, I had to have my phone on me really all night, and then like the minute I did take it out, I'm like walking out, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't know what happened. Yeah. What was like your last recollection? Like, were you like sliding in somebody's DMs, or were you checking your own DMs? What was going on? No, I was actually. I had the last. I sent a text. Okay. But. Yeah. You, was it like that's my last memory. You were like, you know, setting up for like the after the club. Like, I mean, I was gonna yeah, be out in like 30 minutes. What's yeah? 60. 60. <laughs> No, no, it was it was just a normal text. Um, okay, so you recently dropped your self-titled uh, debut EP. Yes. Made in LA. Yes. Mila, you killed it. Thank you. Five songs. Yes. You had B.O.B., you had Problem. Um, Ty Dollar. Ty Dollar, that's your brother. That's your brother. How you forget I Ty know, and Ty's going to kill me because that's my bae. That's my green eyed bandit. And That's your green eyed bandit. Yes, he's gonna kill me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ty. Um, no, but I really enjoyed it. And then what uh you did the music video with Kevin McCall. Yes, for times like these. You just you just hang out with all the LA babe. Okay, I like babe. Yeah. And that's like babe too. Yeah. But yeah, um yeah. Kevin McCall, he's super cool. We um we haven't recorded anything together yet, but he was down to just do the video. Um he came through and you know we got to get our acts on, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. Um and it's kind of you know like ride and die. Exactly. Women who are ride and die for their men. Yeah, it was a little exaggerated. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> It was yes, a, I, I mean, I want to get that point across just because I feel like in this day and time, like, you know, guys have lost just as much hope as women have as far as finding a good a good one out there. And, you know, a lot of people aren't there when it's when times are rough. You know, everybody's there when you're doing good. And, right. You know what I'm saying? And you, you know, can get nice things, but it's like, what about, you know what I'm saying? When a person's down, like, can you stick around for those times too? So I just really wanted to drive that point across with the video. So. Yeah. So what's, like, the most ride I think you've done with your man? Like, just had to hold him down, you had the strap in your purse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I mean, I would say for me, honestly, um, you know, I've been with someone who, you know, who did lose their job and, okay. and didn't, wasn't able to get back on their feet for a minute, but to me, I wasn't, I knew that that's life, you know what I mean? Because I could easily, I'm never in a relationship to it feeling like, okay, I'm with you so that you can take care of me. I feel like we're both of those. I should be able to take care of myself, you know what I mean? Right. So, um, I feel like that, like, yeah, holding him down and not necessarily being like, uh oh, no, you got this amount of time to get it together, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, like, yeah, it's hard out there. It's cool. Can we talk about your Rick Ross grind? Okay, see, it's actually my little Kim grind. Okay. <laughs> okay, which we all know. Like, yeah, okay, growing up, like, I love, like, little Kim. Yeah. Like the hardcore album, obviously. Well, Biggie probably growing it first, right? I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of my homage to her. I know people call it my Rick Ross grind, but it's really, it's really little Kim. Okay. <laughs> when she does the big yeah. What? 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 You got uh, it going on? No, what? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, so let's kind of talk about you growing up in a multicultural family. Yes. We're here at a Japanese restaurant. Your grandfather's Japanese, but he grew up in Compton, so he's a real G. He's a he's a real G. Like he is. Mm -hmm. So, but did he come over? Here? Here from Japan or was he born and raised here? Um, Hawaii and then um, and then came to to Compton. Compton, yes. And you then, know, big and back. Yeah, met my grandmother and then had all their kids and yeah, they grew up in Compton, Gardena, that whole area. Okay. And um, yeah. so, how was it like growing up? Because I know that you guys probably like celebrated all of your. Culture. Okay, well, first let me say my family's very festive. So like my grandmother, like at her house, I mean we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So like any holiday you name it, I mean full decorations, the full what is it, corn beef, half all, all of that stuff. Like we're very festive, but um we always did incorporate like 
um, Japanese traditions. Like every New Year, we we do a Japanese New Year, so it's like you come over there and it's completely Japanese. Like everything, like you're not supposed to eat anything besides this. Like the first thing that's supposed to go into your system on um, New Year's Day is like just um, soup. Okay. And um, or should we like have bad luck or whatever? So like yeah, we always gather for that. But um, yeah, we it was pretty mixed. You know, growing up, we just literally celebrate like everything. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun though. Um, turned up. It's a lot of sake. But we have to look at each other. Okay. You know. Or we get bad sex. Yes. Mm. It's actually really good. Is yours good? It's yeah. real good. Yeah. So you're also a licensed esthetician, right? I am. So okay, how, what's my how's my skin looking like? Your skin looks really good. Okay. <laughs> it really does. Honestly, it's very clear. No, yeah, I am. Actually, that's what um when I had took my break, that's kind of you know I, you know just just trying to see other interests that I had and um skincare was one of them. So I went and got my license for it, and then like right when I got licensed, though, and then it's like everything else started. Coming. Yeah. See? See how so, the world works? Exactly. But I still look, I actually miss giving facials. Like, it's so relaxing. Do you maybe should do you do that on tour? Do you give yourself a facial on tour? Like, you know, I need a break. Well, the thing, no. I mean, because I haven't, because you need, I need the proper setup to do it. Like, I like to do it like the real way, like I did in school. I mean, you could always do like a bootleg kind, but I like doing them to people. I mean, okay. you know, not on myself, because it's not as relaxing. You did a song with Trey Songs. Mm -hmm. It's respectful. And y'all were singing about people being disrespectful yeah. within their relationships. What's like the most disrespectful thing you've ever done? No. In your relationship or like in regards to somebody else's I mean, for me, it's like, okay, okay, you know, as a am okay, I talk this all the time, like, you know when you feel like your relationship's over, yeah. but like, you know, a person doesn't really let you break up with them, it's yeah. like, you know? So I was kind of situation like that, but in my mind, it was, we, were, we were done already. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like I moved on and kind of, uh, I don't know, I really kind of like cheating though, okay. because in my mind, we were already, you know, already. But he would have shanked you with But it's like, I started the process. Okay. You know, like, let's just, you know, I'm already over this and, Let's just move on. But yeah. you know he would have been upset if he found out. Of course. He would have ready to. But oh, yeah, but I mean, overall, I'm a, I'm a real loyal person, though. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm pretty young. Um, Hold it down. Yeah. Pimp squad. No, I'm just kidding. I get more trouble with my mouth because I'm real opinionated. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's times where I could probably be considered as Okay. The actress. All right. You know. But I like picture you with like a very like hyper masculine man who'd be like, Mia, cut it out. Exactly. And just like, be quiet. Cause that, you're talking too much. Yeah, and that's what I need. Okay. Like, so, yeah, because I know I have a I have a strong personality. Like, I don't run from it, you know what I mean? I'm a little rough, rough around the edges, but then that is attractive when there's somebody that can be like, look, chill. Like, and you're like, okay. Right. Can you speak Japanese? Like, literally? A little bit. Okay, we're gonna get that one. No, okay. <laughs> Okay, what can you say in Japanese though? Um, like how are you? I know how are you? Like yes. you will say, oh genki desu ka. Oh genki desu ka. Oh, say it again. Oh genki okay. desu ka. Oh genki desu ka. That's how are you. Okay. So if you want to say you're doing good, you just say genki desu. Genki desu. I mean, if you're doing good though. Yeah, doing I'm, doing good. I'm doing great. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing great. Did your grandfather, did he teach you guys? Any no, Japanese? actually, he doesn't really know any. Okay. Me and my older sister actually she just took it upon ourselves to be like, okay, we're gonna go. So I took classes, I, I, but I only got to like level three. Okay. That was like writing conversational. So I'm actually better at like writing, writing. yeah, the characters and, and reading it, but um, speaking it is just way harder. So what are you working on next? You're on tour, um, are you on tour right now? I just actually wrapped the BT College tour. Okay, so that how was, was really that? Fun. It was so fun. Which like, college is most turned up? Tuskegee. Shout out to them. Oh yeah, they were. Tuskegee was turned, and it was packed too. Cause it, you know, on the tour, a lot of them was like, it was like a lot of rain, and so some of the stuff would have to go indoor, but I don't know, that was my first time like doing the whole like college market, and I don't know that. They were just, it was fun. Yeah. Like, you know, cause it was there to have like a good time. A good so. time. Yeah, but um, yeah, the EP and then just the album, preparing for the album for you know next year. It doesn't have a title yet. Okay, well, I mean it could, it could be, be the solution. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you heard it culture. here first, exactly. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, and so I, I recorded so many songs, like even for the EP, like it was hard to narrow down to five. Five, yeah. Um, but you know, I came to the decision just because I just wanted to get people just like different sides than me. Um, you know, all five songs I feel like are different. All the videos are different. And, um, you know, just like as an appetizer for, for what's to come. What's so to come. exactly. And you also rap too. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, your sisters rap. I, I started you know. off actually rapping. Like when I was in groups, I was rap. I was a rapper. Okay. Um, like you know, like I said, Little Kim, like Snoop, all of them growing up. That's who like I looked at. Um, the fat boys, like everybody. But um, yeah. Then eventually, I know on the mix if I did, I did a couple rapping stuff. But um, yeah, I haven't. She's not on the EP rapping, but you know, I might, I might put her on the album. I'm not, okay. I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, y'all? Mila J, and right now you're watching Global Grind TV. For you, I make that sacrifice. We uh, would imitate Michael, and when I say we, I mean like me and Usher and yeah. 